Okay, I wanted to show you guys this trailer before I put the Sea Eagle on it and uh, wanted to explain how I did this. So I took uh, 12 and a half inches from here to the frame on each side and that was my dimension for the runner. I felt like that was uh, pretty, pretty good for the for hardwood floors. And I let the bunks at the same height and then at this point in time, I put uh, I, I took the top board and ran it out to about right here, about eight or nine inches past this last support. And then I put a splice on the bottom. And then I put one two by four here. Then the bottom, this is the splice board. And then the top board ends about right there. And I just left this whole thing in fabric. That way the, the, the bow of the boat can kind of just stay on fabric and it, it's nice smooth. Anyway, this is gonna be, this is pretty much the end of the hardwood floor right here. So, that's that. And it made a little jog. Yeah, there's a little bit of, a little bit of wrinkle there, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. It's, it was, it's kind of a little bit of a different design from what you gotta do to make this work. So the next video I'm gonna have will be the boat on the trailer, and I'm gonna modify this, and there's gonna be like a flat board or something here to hold the front bow of the boat tied up against the it's that way I can use this winch and everything but uh, just wanted to share share that and this is kind of how it looks from the front view